most of you watching this video, you're probably making your coffee out of one of these. This is an instant coffee maker, a coffee pot, a miss your coffee. There's a bunch of different words for it and people call this a bunch of different things. But in the specialty coffee world, there aren't a ton of people making specialty coffee out of their Mr. Coffees or their coffee pots. And that's for a lot of good reasons. So we're here at the new Morning Movement headquarters and we've been tasting coffee every single way that you can imagine. And one of our big goals and one of our big challenges has been finding a way to make coffee out of a Mr. Coffee and have it taste delicious. So I'm here with Arturo, my partner in crime. <laughs> Maybe you can start by telling everyone what are some of the challenges of the Mr. Coffee and why it's not widely used in the specialty coffee world. Okay, so. Um, a Mr. Coffee uh, machine or a, a, you know regular coffee machine, automatic coffee machine, they don't have a system where you have turbulence. Remember we need the three T's, temperature, time and turbulence. That's in order to create the perfect recipe. But they have this sort of a device here, the shower, that just pours the water slowly, it's a slow drip, into the coffee bed that you have underneath in the basket but most people use it it's convenient it's affordable it's uh it's something that it, most people have at home it's mindless too you just put everything in there while you're still half asleep you hit the button and then you have coffee you got your jet fuel for the day so uh one of the things we've been trying to do with the morning movement coffees is for them to be versatile for people to have them in this type of coffee maker people to have in a b60 to have it in a french press to have it you know to even use it in any way they want and the coffee would be great that's what we want so what i've been told what arturo taught me because everything i know about coffee arturo taught me is the pre-infusion or the bloom is the most important part of the of brewing coffee and that's your first pour the first pour into the pour over or the first pour into the french press that's the most important because that's the net that's the degas it's a degassing process uh, and you can change the acidity, you can change the balance on that first pour. So we've come up with a way to do a pre-infusion with a Mr. Coffee. So we have our coffee beans here that you would get from your bag of the morning movement coffee. So I'll do 30 grams and then we're gonna do some grinding. The way I'm trying to grind this is as medium fine. Again, you can use whatever grinder you have at home. So let's see. Let's take a closer look at this grind setting. Okay. So it's not super fine, but it's not as medium as we do for the pour over. So it's a medium fine grind. This is what you would get out of one of those little grinders, you know, at, at home. home. One of these spoons, you know, I've, it's about the size of the spoons that I use for eating soup, but I don't know what you guys have at home. So for the sake of experimenting, let's see how many spoons fall to the top do we need for this coffee. So let's do one, the second one, 22, and we're gonna aim for 30, the 30. So it's about four spoons, four spoons of coffee. So if you have a scale at home, try weighing out 30 grams. If you don't, if you Try just using four tablespoons. Four tablespoons. If you feel it's too strong, just do a little bit less. If you feel it's too weak, just do a little bit more. Now, we have our coffee in the basket. Yes? Now for water, I'm not gonna weigh water just to make it easy because these things already have a, a, some sort of measure system here. Yes? So I'm gonna do three, every cup on this thing I stands for 150 grams of water. Yes? So I'm gonna do as much as three cups. So our turtle's filling up to the number three line on the coffee maker. There you go. So three cups, that's 450 grams. Okie dokie. Now, you can't cut that part, the okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what we've been saying is pre-infusion. I have a, a watch, I have a timer here in my watch, and that's what I'm gonna use to try to make it a little bit better. Yes, just trying to upgrade or improve this method. So, I'm gonna just turn it on, 
and turn on my timer. See the little light is on um, and my timer is on here too. And I'm gonna watch, let's watch together here until this thing starts dripping. When it starts dripping out coffee, we're gonna turn it off, yes? In this case, it might be closer to one minute. What is happening is that the hot, the water is getting heated up here, and once it's hot, it's gonna start um, slowly dripping it through the shower. And once the water or the coffee starts coming out here, there, off. See, it was 40 seconds now. So there's not a, a set time for that, it's just wait until the coffee starts coming out from there and then wait 30 seconds. So it was 40 seconds plus 30 seconds, it's one minute and 10, yes? So at one minute and 10 seconds, I'm gonna turn it back, back on because the pre-infusion is happening in there. So let's take a quick look, 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 see? So I can see all the degassing going on right now, all the bubbles. There, you turn it back on. So 30 seconds of pre-infusion, that's what we want. Um, this is in order to help a little bit that brewing process to be, because in the degassing process, uh, a lot of the uh, structure of the coffee is released in these little bubbles. So we're just gonna let it, you know, brew the whole way and then we're gonna taste it and see what it's like. So this is a good way for you guys to try specialty coffee in a Mr. Coffee. It's honestly been something Arturo and I have been having a hard time with knowing so many people are just throwing the coffee in a Mr. Coffee and not having the experience that we're having here in Panama. It's like, okay, how can we have people just make their instant coffee or their Mr. Coffee game just a little bit better and bring out some of the qualities of this coffee that we would just really wanna share. And I think that this brewing method is something that will help your coffee and it'll help it become better, taste a little better, and it allows you to experiment a little bit too. It allows you to turn the coffee pot on and off at different times that will affect the quality or the balance of the coffee. Yeah, so just keep in mind, we wanna keep that ratio. We're gonna keep that 15 to one ratio. And wait, take your timer, wait until it starts dripping, turn it off, and then after 30 seconds, turn it back on. And then just let it drip all the whole way. There you go. I never thought I'd see the day when you pour a cup of coffee from a Mr. Coffee. <laughs> well, you have to do what you have to do. Look, we still have a little bit left. We have a full mug here, and we have a little bit left over here for seconds. It tastes good. It tastes balanced, but it's not as good as you make it, Arturo. Well, but you have, I mean, it's about making the best out of what you have at home. That's right. right. Yeah. You know, it's a practical way to, to do it. I think I just want to leave you guys with one more little piece of advice now that you're making specialty coffee with um, just a little bit of what we think is just a little bit of a better recipe is try letting the coffee cool down. Because yeah. something in the, if you think about cold coffee from, I don't know, anytime you probably had coffee if you're in the States, it starts to get really bitter and really ugly. Yes. But with this coffee, if you let it cool down, it actually improves. So we want to share that with you guys. Share that coffee. Share this recipe. We hope you love it. And see you next time. See you next time. Bye.